We're back at Northeast Film Festival. Veronica Maramakari here. We have here Marian Kovit from the film Talk to Me. Hi. Hey, very nice to be here today. I'm having a blast. All the movies are phenomenal. Thanks for having us be part of it. The producer, unfortunately, is in Spain. And the other producer of it, and I worked on a movie yesterday that started. We had to be on set at 4 a.m. And we, it was a very long 16-hour day, so unfortunately the producer-director Mark Stoltenberg is resting, but I'm here, everybody, and that's great about it. Okay, yeah, for sure. So you were telling me that you're the lead actress, correct? Um, I wish I was the lead actress in it. Okay. No, uh, Judy Kopelman, the producer of it, is also the lead actress. Okay. I'm a supporting actress. Okay, so tell us a bit about your character. Okay, uh, my character is Miriam, and I'm a patient in a psychiatrist's office. And I tell the story about a lot of messed up guys that I'm dating and neurotic guys from New York. And it's really sad because I want to have a baby more than anything. And it's not happening right now. Mm. Okay. So, what do you think is the, the essence of the film? What do you think the film is about? Well, it's really about finding yourself and finding what you really need to do in life, what your true calling is. And Judy, uh, who plays the psychiatrist, finds out that her real mission in life is to talk to people and to help people even though she keeps trying to get other types of jobs. And I find that I love Jerry, the first guy that I talk about that says he's um, that all he wants to do is go to the gym and watch TV and he doesn't really pay that much attention to me. But I love him so much and in the end he asked me to marry him. So uh, ah, spoiler alert. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. That's fine. So it's a short film, correct? Yes. yes, 18 minutes. Oh, okay. So can you tell us just a little bit about the story without telling me too much? Um well she's a very bored psychiatrist that is trying to help out her patients, but she's burnt out, doesn't want to do it anymore. She tries to get jobs, she goes on interviews, and uh, the people say that she's too old. It's, it's about um, age discrimination, um, about the job force being sexist. And then at the end of every interview, the, each interviewer has a problem. That's the twist on it. And they end up talking to her. And they say to her at the end of the movie, um, we want to talk to you. Can, can I just talk to you? And she's like, oh, great. That means I have the job. That means I can have a new career. And she says, and the interviewer says, no, no, no. I just want to talk to you and be your friend and buy you a drink. So she's all disappointed. And then she realizes that her true calling in life is to be the psychiatrist. And she goes back to doing it. And instead of being completely bored while the patients are talking and watching the internet and going shopping while she's um, in session, she actually really cares about the patients again. She comes full circle. That's so interesting. Sounds really fun. And your character sounds really cool. It's fun. I, I, I liked it. I'm glad that they created it. That's great. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to see it. Thank you. Great to meet you today and great to be here on the red carpet at the Northeast Film, Film Festival. Festival. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs>